Hello, this is Marcus Giuliano from Aroma Time Bistro, aka the Chef on a Mission, or the Healthy Chef Dude. You can go to my website, chefonamission.com, and see all of my videos and see what I stand for. Uh, this video that I'm creating here today is about the differences we do at Aroma Time Bistro. A lot of people say, not a lot of people, but some people will say sometimes, oh, I can't believe you know your salmon's this price, or your, your steak is this price. Isn't that a little bit excessive? And really, it's not at all. And the reason why I do these short videos is to justify all the research that goes into our food uh, as far as the ethics, the morals, the production, the organic stances. Um, and today I'm going to talk about salmon. Now, first of all, farm salmon you want to totally avoid, even the organic stuff, because there's no organic certification for salmon. It's just what the fish farm calls themselves is organic, and who knows what they're really doing. They might be doing better than other farms, but there is no government certification for organic right now in aquaculture. So don't get caught in the organic salmon, or um, that's one product you never want to serve. It's a lot or eat, or even farm salmon in general. So the next thing is what well, people love, wild salmon. And they say, wild salmon's the, the, the best thing. Now, there's, so there's several different species of wild salmon uh, that come from the West Coast, coming from the West Coast of the United States all the way on up through Alaska. Um, silver bright chum, uh, the same thing. Um, coho, sockeye, king. So there's different, different types and different catch methods, which makes a huge difference in the price. Most salmon are going to be caught by using a net system, uh, a gill net system, where the, the nets are a certain size hole and the f salmon actually swim, or the fish swim in and get caught because their body can't get past a certain point because the head starts you know, small and it gets, gets to a point. Once the fish goes to pull out of the net, the gills get netted, thus gill netting is the way you catch these fish. The fish gets caught and they're now all of a sudden cannot move. So the net drops, Millions of fish get get, get 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 thrown into this net, and they're struggling for hours in this net to try to get out until they're dead or until they're brought up onto the um, dock, uh, the, the boat, and then all of a sudden, then killed. Um, so the fish struggle and struggle. Now, this type of fish never, ever makes it in sushi restaurants because the fish gets beaten up. It gets bruised, it gets beaten up. When you go to a fishmonger, to a high-end fish store, and you see a whole salmon, head on uh, from Alaska, that salmon will never be net caught because the head is the key into judging the freshness and the quality of the fish. If they're gill netted, the head, the gills, none of that is, it's all bruised and it's all damaged because the fish is literally trying to save its own life and backing out of this net. So that will never ever happen. Um, you'll never see a whole fish head on that's gill netted. If the fish is whole and the head's on, chances are it's gonna be line caught something called troll caught or line caught, where they use one hook, one line, one fish, they catch a fish on the hook, they reel it in, they bring it up. That right there is the single best way to get salmon or any fish, really, because it's less stress on the fish, less bruising, higher quality, the fish is then brought up and then processed as soon as it can be, as opposed to sitting in nets dead or struggling or stressed out. Major, major difference. I've seen the price difference of some of these fish almost three dollars a pound difference for an, a line caught versus a net caught fish and then of course f compared to a farmed atlantic salmon it's even much more so here at aroma time guess what we only buy line caught salmon i will not touch net caught salmon it's 100 percent line caught salmon from Alaska. Now when you look at the fish on the on the west coast, Alaska has the most sustainable salmon or most sustainable fisheries. Once you start moving down, the Monterey Bay Aquarium doesn't really recommend stuff from like from California and Oregon, Columbia River. They're, they're less hesitant to recommend based upon the population uh, because the populations are dwindling in those lower states. But in Alaska, the population is much more abundant. I know some years you read stories how the catch was the lowest ever, and then some years you read the catch was the highest ever. You know, there's a lot of controversy. The bottom line is if you are going to eat salmon, the single best salmon to eat is going to be wild Alaskan salmon. Um, it's a very monitored species. They won't, they, they do not catch more than their, than their quotas, and they do not catch more than, you know, they, they monitor the fish as they go to spawn going up the river, and as soon as, soon as a certain amount go up the river to spawn, that's when they open the season, so it's very monitored, unlike other parts. So you can actually go to the health food store and buy, like, see wild-caught salmon, Pacific wild-caught salmon. As soon as you see the word Pacific, you have to start reading in, because a lot of that stuff is caught in Russia, where there are no quotas. 
it's caught in China or caught out in the ocean and then sent to China to get processed. And you look at like there's an, an Aquastar label out there that's literally dirt cheap in the grocery stores. You really have to read and find out where it comes from. Here at Aroma Time, I'm convinced the only salmon uh, to eat, the only salmon that we're ever going to serve here is line caught Alaskan salmon. Um, I'm happy to pay the three dollars more a pound for this. I'm more than happy for it, um, and I'm sure you are too. Now that you actually know the difference of the effort that goes into the different salmons and how they're caught. I'm Marcus Giuliano, Aroma Time Bistro. Uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.